presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 263, Nasdaq's off 30, S&P's off 31, gold contract down $25, traded at 1806 an ounce. You get silver down 35 cents, twenty dollars ninety cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off two bucks, two sixty-two right now. Buck eighteen thirty-two a barrel. Notes and bonds they continue to plow high, higher. You get the ten-year note right now trading down twenty-nine ticks at one fourteen eleven. The thirty off a full point plus ten ticks at one thirty-one oh seven. And King Dollar King Dollar's up four hundred ninety-four ticks trading out at one oh five five seventy-three. The euro out here is at 104, the yen is at 135, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, first off, even after the lows yesterday, you had the volume behind the move, you blew the B point away, the B point on the S&P. SPY is 131 million. Price projection, uh, the price of the B point was 380. We did uh, 100, 170 million. Bottom line, that gives you a price projection of 335. And if you take a look at this, this is crucial to really understand how this is set up. Why? Because I've been talking about JP Morgan. JP Morgan's already there. If you take a look at this and we take a look at the aspect of 335, what you're going to see here is that you're at the February pre-COVID level. That's 339. So I suspect what we're going to see here is that the market is going to dig into the highs of the lows um, of March, of March COVID. So long way down. That's really not that far down, actually. It's only 50 points down, and we're already down 100. But boy, those next 50 are going to be painful. NDX 100, three Qs. So what do we have with the three Qs? Bottom line with the three Qs out here. Same setup. Three Qs. You had the B point that was set up out here at uh, 280, $180. You had 91 million shares traded. You did 94.4 million shares traded. You're at 276, 274 right now. Your A to B equals C to D gets you down to 222, and 222 is going to get you. This gets really interesting with this one. Yeah, it gets, it gets you right down to. February 20th of 2020. And we look at that. So you got what? That's 50 points. Yeah, look at this. And we're already 125. The thing that's crazy that, I mean, perception is always everything, right? The thing is that I'm looking at, I'm saying to myself, hold it. That's not that much further down. But yet, that's because we're already going so far down. We're already down off $408, you know? And bottom line, you get the gist of it. The bottom line is, and I hope you understand what ABC structures do, folks, because A to B equals C to D. The A to B move is a straight line move. The C to D can be all over the place. And actually, let me bring this back so you can see how this works, because this, the C to D move is also a straight line move. Then if I put Fibonacci with this, you're going to see the type of bounce that we actually got. It was just over 0.382. That's a dead. That's a dead cat bounce, man. That's the bottom. So, 
It's, it's trouble. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold? Gold contract went down hard yesterday. The bottom line, right now, we're trading down. We got 150,000 contracts. Now, that's, that's lightening up, thank God, because, uh, you know, I suspect what's going to happen here. We get the Fed tomorrow. Uh, bottom line, meeting. Um, there we go. We get the Fed, uh, and they'll be coming out at uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow. Um, you know, bottom line, giving us the rate increase. And uh, I suspect this gold's going to go after this 1792. That's the way it's set up right now. And good old King Dollar. So King Dollar is the number here that could get pretty intense, man. <laughs> if, if King Dollar, let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> if you want to go to Europe, right? If King Dollar actually does get up to this 121, you got to loan up on euros, man. I mean, because what we're going to have here, here, let's let's bring this back. I got to bring this back, actually. I'm going to have to bring this back almost. Well, let's see. I've had. Yeah, so there it is here. So watch this. So your next stop, you get a swing high at 121. And that's where I'm figuring you're going. I mean, look at this one up here, 151. That was 1987, 1984. Okay, so hold it. Let me bring this back to there because we got to take one step at a time. That's 2000. Oh, I see. Okay, one second. That's okay. So here we go. Okay, so you can see how this is laying out. What you've, you've had this consolidation, the consolidation that the dollar was in. This is a long consolidation. I mean, you know, so it's built up power, man. And this is telling me that this is actually going to go, which is going to be a mind blower. So the, the top of the consolidation was 103, the bottom of the consolidation is 88. When you know when you basically add that up, you got 15 points. You add 15 on top of 103. You got 118. And look at those highs up there. They're laying out there, laying out there at 121.67. So bottom line is that it looks to me like this is where we're going. And if that's where we're going, let me tell you something, man. Uh, we'll go to the euro, the other side of it. So we can go to euro, Europe, go to Italy, go to the Amalfi Coast, have a good time. Uh, bottom line. If we go there, watch this, I think we'll go to 87 on the euro. That 87? Yeah, it is. Because I remember that. that I, I remember when we were doing that the last time I was yapping the same deal. Um, it's 87, man. So, and you can see what's, what's happening with the euro. It's just ready to break, man. Anything under 105.21, which you're under right now. Next stop, man. You know, bottom line. We'll see how long it takes. You know, currencies, you know, normally take a little bit longer, but currencies trend in an incredible way versus equities or futures. And right now, man, the, the trend in the euro is down, the trend in the dollar is up, the Fed's going to come in tomorrow, and uh, bottom line, you know, go up on rates again, and that's what, that's what you're seeing here. That's why you're seeing that, that 10 and the 30 move so quick. Stay right here, folks. Come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 367. You get the Nasdaq off 72. S&Ps are off 44. You get some selling here. Continue selling. Let's go take a look at if uh, we get a couple good questions here. The first one, let's go to First Majestic. Majestic. And what the question is, is that when you have volume coming out of an equity, okay? This is a great question, too, by the way. And I love this always in the gold market because this is what it likes to do a lot. So First Majestic, okay, folks, is a silver company. Um, you know, the low $7 and uh, 23 cents for the past 12 months, the highs 1851. Uh, next time they come out with numbers is on August 16th. And what the question is, is that, you know, when you get volume coming out of an equity before the swing point, yeah, that's exactly what you want to see. <laughs> There's no doubt, man. So look at this, man. Okay. So picture, you know, last Thursday, it tried to go higher, but then it ended up, well, it it ended up higher, okay? But let's, we got 8 million shares there. Yesterday, you come down with 8.5 million. Well, looking today at 3.8, and you're going into 14 million. That, and that's, I we correlate that to whether you're running or swimming, and you know, you're going 500 meters if you're swimming, you're going, I don't know, you know, 10 miles if you're running or whatever. Uh, bottom line is that this is when the push, the energy, comes out before the end of the line. So that by the end of the line comes, man, you're tired. That's first majestic. If we go look, take a look at uh, Alamos, it's going to, I suspect, we can go through a bunch of them. I suspect a lot of them are going to be the same way. Same deal. So with Alamos here, when you got, you, you, you come down uh, yesterday with uh, uh, 5.6 million, you get 2.2. The swing point here has 5.8. You know, let's see. So 712. Okay, so yeah, these this looks like it's going to test these lower swings, man. That's how this is shaking out, man. You talk about uh you, know, you get some you get some volatility here. There's no doubt about it. Let's go let's take a look at Pan American Silver. P A A S. Okay, so P A A S took it out. Now, oh, this is going to get interesting. So 2059 Okay, let's see what happens here because, so what you have is this. Yesterday, Pan American Silver came down with volume. You have a big contraction of volume, but what's going on there is that you're right at the low, and the bottom line is that you have lighter volume, but it's going to have a hard time holding price. Now, that's going to be pretty intense because of the fact that you get the Fed tomorrow, and the Fed's going up on rates, man. I mean, just depends on how much they're going up on rates. We... Uh, there was another question that if the dollar is higher, um, would that, you know, basically be indicative of a disinflationary area, uh, period. 
Well, what happens is this. So as the dollar gets higher, the you know, goods from around the world for us get a lot lower. But we're still paying in U.S. dollars, so it's not deflation. I don't think that we're going to really be seeing deflation, okay, period, um, in the next 20 or 30 years. That's how it kind of works out, you know. And if you look at the, uh, let's, see, look, let's look at these bond yields, because you, you're going to see why the dollar is so much stronger than every other currency out here. These are, these are the 10-year yields, if you're watching Tiger TV, around the world, right? You can see right now, if you remember, I, I always brought these up a lot. They used to be down at zeros and negatives, okay? Uh, bottom line is that everything is positive, including Switzerland, including Japan, which is almost unheard of, okay? But you can see the United States right now, we're at 3.97. We're double, no, we're 50% higher than France, 50% higher than the United Kingdom, um, almost, uh, oh, more than, let's see, almost 67% higher than Germany. Uh, Italy's higher than us. Italy's 4.16. Spain is 3.1. You know, Germany's 1.7. You got the United Kingdom 2.5, and you get France 2.3, man. The bottom line is that uh, for their currencies to go higher, they need some action on the way up. Uh, they need to get those rates going and get those rates going pretty quickly in order to basically uh, get, a strong, get a stronger currency. That's how this thing shakes out. Uh, yeah, and happy Flag Day, man. It's uh, June 14th. Yeah, you're going to love it. So this is going to get pretty intriguing uh, dealing with this higher dollar. There's no doubt about it. You know, so there's, you know, if you remember when the dollar was high and I, this is when you could actually, the last time that this was happening, there's a lot of different businesses that you can basically get into. Um, the last time this was up, I remember specifically how many folks are actually bringing in, buying Harley Davidson's in Europe, buying Mercedes in Europe, bringing them back over here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different businesses that you actually can get into because you gotta remember the correlation is that dramatic when it hits with currency, you know, it, it is. And, you know, so if you wanna see something that's really bizarre that, you know, in, inside the gold business, um, the, Active, come on, let's see. I'm going to do GC1. Where do you see this? Because this is, you know, the only currency, okay, that gold isn't at all-time highs is what? Is the U.S. dollar. <laughs> uh, why? Well, why is pretty easy because of the fact that the every other currency is weaker and gold is priced in U.S. dollars. Uh, okay, let me see. How did I do this again? I used to do this all the time. Oh, here, here's local, local currency. Yeah, watch this. This is wild. So if I go first to the euro, what do you see the difference, man? Well, the euro, let's see. So euro, well, all-time high was 1899 euros. Yeah, it said 1795. So it's not at all-time highs yet in the euro. Is that right? Let me look at the yen. Okay, the yen's almost at all-time highs. The all-time high yen was 225 million yen, and right now we're at 244. Watch me go to South Africa. What do you see? The, the amount of money that they should make in South Africa should, should be pretty intense because right now it's going at 29,000. No, 29, yeah, 20, 29,317. Rand is, a, is an ounce of gold. The high, though, is 31,000. And then let's go to Canada. Let's see what that's, what's happening in Canada. No, Canada's like us, too. The Canadian dollar, let's go see what this Canadian dollar is made. Because, okay, so the Canadian dollar right now is, so look at this, is getting interesting. 129 Canadian to one US dollar. This is getting weak in a big way. Let's bring this back. Curious as to how. Oh, yeah. It's going back. This has been a consolidation, too. This is going back to 146. There's going to be a lot of different dynamics and a lot of different ways that you can actually uh, get some product, move some product. There's, uh, there's no doubt about that. 
We go inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here today. You have um, the, the mover out here happens to be uh, Boeing. Boeing's putting 26 positive points. McDonald's, four, taken away from it. United Health, 68. Home Depot, 37. You got Procter & Gamble, 34. And you got Salesforce, uh, 20. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 236. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 20, 23. Uh, S&Ps are down uh, 26. So let's get over and take a look at uh, this 10-year because I'm going to put the generic 10-year up. And we had been looking at a, an ABC structure. Oh, TY. Come on. TY. Generic. There we go. Okay, so we looked, we take a look at this. Yeah, this is a monster break. Okay, so let's see what this is then. 129, 17, 12 bucks, gets you 102. Oh man, this is heavy. Okay, let's see where this is going. 102 is one of the projections. Let me, let's see what this looks like. Put this back. So, we also, we just broke, oh, I see what happened too. Okay. Of 
Going back 30 years, folks. <laughs> there we are right here. Yep, 104. Yeah. Watch this. That, that's where we're going, man. This is, this is going to be intense. This is going to have some ramifications for sure. So watch this. You got to break with conviction of this whole trend line that started in 1999. He just broke a major swing. There's, 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 you, what you have here in, inside the, the tenure right now, right? This should be major support, but guess what? It's blown by it like nothing, man. See, we, we traded here from 2008 over to 2010, but it's, it's taken out like butter, man. And the price projection is right down here. The price projection is going all the way back to 2007. That's 104. 102, 104, is that 102? Oh my God, yeah. 102 is 2002. Rates in 2002. That's going to be some heavy rates, man. That's, yeah. That, that 10 year, that 10 year is going to be running five, five and a half percent. And the real question is going to be like, okay. What does it mean for, <laughs> you, you can see that the doll, the doll is saying, this is loving it. There's no two ways about that. Um, th there's no doubt about that. Uh, no, no, it is not time to shut bonds. It's that that's the, the bottom line is that you're, you know, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're going, you're going down. Yeah, I would wait for a counter trend bounce to, to get in that inside that bond market. Another way that you can do that, you know, that is especially so. So watch when you get a a big price projection. Like even inside the um, S&Ps, where I would go inside the S&Ps, right? If, you, if we can get a bounce before this ABC structure basically gets to the price projection, what you'd want to do is a, a high, well, let's put it this way, a less risky trade would be to turn around and um, get an option play far out at the price projection. And so what, you, what you'd have to do is this. You do two different things. What you'd have to do is that you would basically have to do that in an up market. Because in a down market, what happens is the premiums go up way too high, folks. Because it's all predicated on the VIX, okay? So you'd have to have the VIX die down. You're still at 33, you know, you know. And then, you know, the bottom line is that you're taking a different type of risk. But, you know, if you are in the option market, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's a good calculated risk. Let's put it this way. Because you don't have many times that you can actually get price projections, you know. And when you have ABC structures in place, well, guess what? You have price projections. You know, it's no, that's how it works. Now, let's get over and take a look at some of these housing stocks. I'm going to go to Home Depot first because what was they, they were building cars to break these lows. And they're not really broken yet. They're not broken with conviction. You see this right here? Like if we look at Home Depot, right? It's been trying to hang tough at 300 level, you know. Uh, two, 280, 300. Is it 278 right now still? So that, that hasn't broken yet. Uh, we go over to Toll Brothers. We take a look at Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers right now, same setup. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this, man. You know, the low in Toll Brothers out here is, uh, what, 44. We are, we're at 40, no, 43.55. And you can see, you know, bottom line, this came down hard yesterday, but guess what? It still hasn't broken it yet. Now, we're going to see whether this is just building cars. If we take a look at Lanar, and you take a look at Lanar here, same kind of, well, Lenar actually broke. Not by much, though. Lenar was at 70.67, you're at 69.15. And pull this back up for a second. Yeah. But it, it, actually, as I'm, as I'm speaking right here, look where these are at, though. These, okay, so we'll be talking about the ABC structures on the major indices bring you back to February of 2020. Well, guess what? The home builders are there. I didn't realize it, so just when I'm doing this right now. You know, this is off 117, you're at 70. 
And you literally write, you write it uh, February of uh, 2020. Let me see if Toll Brothers is the same way. Yeah, it is. The high of 2020 was 47. You're at 44. So th this is so a lot of the, well, th this is like a sneaky market now because the bottom line is that, you know, because you're, you're watching, well, because I'm watching some indices and all that, these other ones are just climbing down slowly, 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 like the razor blade that just keeps going. Let's go take a look at the oil market and see what we have happening inside this contract right now. So we take a look at the July contract. You're at 118.15. Yeah, 328,000. Well, it's about time you get a little pullback anyway, but. Yeah, this has volume up here, man. Look at this. this the volume's not stopping on this. This is going higher, man. Look at this. Last five days, you get 340,000 contracts, 293. Three days ago, 355. Yesterday, 372. And today, uh, 328. That's higher prices coming at you in spades. Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla out here because the bottom line is that this baby is building cars uh, for lower price once again. I mean, it's getting chipped down in a, in a big way. Uh, but guess what? You're up 15 bucks today. You can see it doesn't even look like it's moving. The last low was established at 29 million. We came down with 34 yesterday and you got 30 today. This is pushing swing lows with volume. When you stop pushing swing lows with volume, what happens is that it wakes up out of bed and just blows it apart. And, you know, once this equity, you know, you know, we'll see whether it gets down to 535. My take is going to 503, 502, you know, because this is the last place, you know, for Tesla to get real support because what has happened is that Tesla had traded here from December of 2020 all the way over to uh, May of 2022. That's 20, no, 20, 20, 2021. That's a huge amount of trading sideways, folks. So that movement is good support. But guess what? Just like the TB, just like the 10 year note just runs right through it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 59. You get the NASDAQ up 57. S&Ps are uh, almost flat. They're down three right now. So if we go over and take a look at uh, the, let's go take a look at the good old Fed. Because, you know, because of the way that the market has been going down, folks, okay, there's plenty of the analysts out there saying, oh, now you're going to do three quarters. You might do a, you know, Percent. The Fed's going to do a half a percent, folks. You know, the bottom line is that what the Fed will not do right now is change. No, the Fed can definitely change. OK, but because of the way that they've telegraphed the amount of rate hikes that they're going to be and how much they're going to be, that telegraph would come in tomorrow. So my take is that what you're going to have, you still have the 50 basis point hike, so a half a percent. And if they're going to telegraph that they may go more than that, they will telegraph that tomorrow because the, the time always changes things. And, you know, the bottom line now, the Fed has been telegraphing what they're going to do for a long period of time. There's a camp that says that, OK, if you put uh, everyone in shock and, you know, do a 75 or a one point, uh, that that would, you know, basically, you know, smarten everyone up and there'd be less demand because this is all about demand, demand. This is all about how much, you know, um, each one of us actually think that prices are going up. So we, in fact, go buy things up in demand because of that fact. You know, my take is that thing is slowing down anyway because of the fact that prices have gone up so high. So we, it, it can kind of bring you all back to center, meaning that when, you know, you, you keep filling up and, as you're filling up what ends up happening, let's say whether it's $80 or $100, or whatever that is, um, that, that, makes, that makes a difference, man. And, you know, we've been through that now for a good six to eight weeks. Uh, you know, so I suspect the bottom line is that you're going to get a half a point. The thing that's going to get intriguing is that if, in fact, that we're getting this uh, ABC structure on the way down, the real kicker is that will you get another half a point in July? Let me see what day that is in July. So calendar. Okay, so the next one, July 27th. Okay, it's late. So it's the six weeks apart. So we're going to get July 27th, then November, uh, September 21st. These next three are going to be the numbers, man. You know, and we'll see. If they lay off a little, if they, if they lay off a little, if the market's down too much, hey, we'll find how it is. You know, they, 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 their challenge is not to put the U.S. in a recession. My take on that is there's no way you can go up from um, zero to probably five in the 10 year without crushing growth. That's how it works. That's, that's the bottom line. That, that, that's just how it works. If money costs more money, well, you're going to grow less. That's the first part of it. The second part of it is um, we don't know yet. Just, you know, we know in the crypto space that there's plenty of people that didn't have any bathing suits on. And, you know, those cryptos are going south in a monster way. What we don't know yet, and we have, what we haven't seen yet, is that what is that inside of the equity market? Um, what is inside that in the real estate market? You know, what I did see out there today, so check this out, man. This is pretty intense. Let me check it. I get a, this is, you know, in the 2007 deal, right? 
we had, um, of course, the uh, liar loans, right? The, you know, no dark loans, okay? Well, believe it or not, there's actually no dark loans back again. Let me find this thing, man. This is a great article. Because what it's about is that, and the thing that's really crazy, too, when I'm reading this article, is that you had the um, Credit Suisse, man, they're, they're involved in, like, just every type of piece of paper they can push out and make anything on. Okay, I can't find you yet, but here's the, here's the gist of it. We know that the Airbnbs and the, um, you know, VRVOs, okay, giving good business to people, right? Well, there's new loans that are out there. They've been around about a year now. Well, the, they've been around for two years, but the exponential amount of money that is pushed out, I, I believe two years ago, something like $1 billion. Now they're up to, I'll, I'll find this in between the break, but here's the gist of it. Here's how it works. That, yeah, let's say I have an Airbnb. Normally, what ends up happening is that, you know, you need your W-2s, you need your everything, right, to get any type of loan, right? Well, there's three or four companies right now that are pushing out huge amounts of paper, billions and billions of dollars. And what they'll do, they'll lend on the projected income of Airbnb and VRVO. That's pretty intense, man. <laughs> because what happens is that when you start projecting money out, and this was about the Smoky Mountains. Let me see if I can do it because it was about how many loans are actually up at the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Um, and the amount of people and how much they owed. I mean, you're talking about some, you know, 30-year-olds owing, you know, $3 million and they've never been in the real estate business. And now they are basically, you know, Airbnb, you know, operators um, with monster debt. You know, in one, in, inside of this article, I was, it was like, wow, because... One person was saying, yeah, how much they're making. This other person was saying that they have $3 million out. After servicing their debt, they're making $100,000. Well, I can tell you what, folks. <laughs> I, I have a lot of properties. I have a lot of rentals. I, I know this business upside down. If you're only making $100,000 on $3 million, right, that is teetering on, like, going broke. <laughs> I mean, I, are you kidding me? For the amount of risk and for the amount of money that you're paying out on that, that, that is not a business plan. <laughs> that, that is not a business plan at all, okay? That's about, yeah, anyway. I'll, I'll find this in between the, uh, the breaks because this article is saying quite a bit. And so, pitch this. You don't, the, the, the key of this whole article was they don't care how much money you make they don't care how much money you have. They care about the Airbnb and what it can project for a year. Then the second one, there's a couple of different companies. The second company is one company that is getting 30% down first. So that's a different ball game. It really is, okay? But, it, you know, but same deal. Um, not a lot of paper. And so this is what's happening. This is where the shadow banking comes into play because these mortgage brokers, they'll, they'll get the product out, push the product. That goes into the banking system. The banking system pushes it out into paper. Same deal. So we'll see how bit much bigger they actually get. You know, and those are the types of deals, though, uh, that can go south very quickly when all of us decide that we're not going to pay $350 a night to stay at an Airbnb. You know, uh, if you had, if you listen to... Uh, uh, think of Swim today, this afternoon, uh, Landon Swan, you know, they had the Landon Swan on with all this data, and it's amazing, he was talking about the amount of um, all of us going from wanting to go away, that, hey man, we're not going away, we're not jumping on a plane because they're ripping us off to so much money. It, was, it, it went from high to low in six weeks. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. I got this article, so yeah, check it out. Landlords have assembled mini empires, managing them from using smartphone apps, okay? <laughs> check this out. Software engineers, middle managers, teachers, military personnel, TikTok influencers flood social media with stories of newfound wealth. They're snapping up properties often sight unseen from out of state at unheard of prices. Some longtime residents are complaining that these investors are changing the character of their communities and making their housing unaffordable. This is, a, this is a, basically about a couple different vacation spots, the biggest one being the Smoky Mountains. A new kind of business loan is fueling the boom. It lets borrowers, including the self-employed, qualify based on, not on their salaries, but on the projected future income of the property they're buying. In industry jargon, they're known as debt service car ratios, referring to the way that rents must be at least enough to cover the monthly mortgage payments. Last year, here you go, last year loans without taxpayer backed totaled 9.9 .9 billion. That is an eightfold increase since 2018. Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, this one person, Chelsea Jones, 29, former grocery store manager in Columbus, Ohio, bought four rentals in the Smokies, three with this mortgage broker's help, and all Jones has borrowed 1.1 million over the past year for the properties uh, in Big Bear, uh, such as Big Bear Lookout, a four-unit cabin in uh, Gaslinburg, Tennessee, with shuffleboard, hot tub, and an arcade. At first, it's hard to imagine how Joan could afford Big Bear. The monthly mortgage is 2600 earned from the steady long-term tenant, would barely cover it, let alone repairs. But Jones can rent out the property for an average of three fifty dollars a night on Airbnb. That way, she can earn $6,000, more than twice her mortgage. Yeah, that's if you can get it. Um, 
So anyway, there's there's a <laughs> listen, man. If, if in Wall Street, okay, the bottom line is that they continue to find anything and everything to push paper out to the public. That's that's their history. That's who they are. You got any paper, man? Let's push this out, man. Let's go. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Meow! Look at him, folks. Building wealth.